that she made the right step in leaving the fraternity of St. Peter because they're formally part of the Novus Ordo. I mean, remember, when, when you go into fraternity of St. Peter, you're basically agreeing with the fundamental principle that the traditional Mass, even the John the 23rd, 62, is the extraordinary form. I mean, this is what you're agreeing to in principle, publicly agreeing to that, that you're accepting the, the ability that you have and even the availability of the 1962 uh, liturgy as a privilege that is given, not as a right as a Catholic you have to, but as a privilege that is a fra accorded you by Francis, okay, who hates the traditional Mass, and his Novus Ordo clergy. Right? They say that their Novus Ordo is the ordinary form. That's their standard, that's their gold standard liturgy, right? And that they are basically tolerating, as an extraordinary measure, the Latin, the traditional Latin Mass, more or less traditional Latin Mass. This, this means, in, in practice, you're admitting to a lie. You're, admit, you're agreeing to a lie. You're signing on the dotted line that you have the right to attend a Catholic Mass, a real Catholic Mass, a valid Catholic Mass, only insofar as and to the extent that, and as long as they are willing to allow you to do so, and that when they say you can't do that anymore, that you have to comply. You're agreeing to that, that they have the authority to do that, that they have the right to do that, you have the obligation to obey that. That's a lie. The fraternity of St. Peter priests are trying to practice the traditional faith within modernism, right, within the very heart of modernism, the diocese is in, under the authority of the modernists. And uh, this is, it, it is frankly, theologically speaking, religiously speaking, absurd. They are actually making, and they are not just making the argument, they are the embodiment of the argument of ecumenism. That you can have two different faiths with two different forms of worship that are actually mutually opposed to each other. Uh, within the same church. The modernists are thrilled to say, by all means, let's have a Latin Mass within our fold here, you know, and going on the same basis, uh, if we can have the, an extraordinary form, and, a, and an ordinary form of liturgy, right? Their ordinary form crafted and implemented to destroy the extraordinary form, the Latin Mass, and simply obliterate it, annihilate it, but now let's say, well, let's, let's bring them in, let's give them a place at the table, and by the same token, by the same principle, if we say these are two different religions here, so why not have the Buddhists here, and the Islamics here, and so on, and uh, have a, a nice big table with all these different religions under the same umbrella church. This is the ecumenist dream. And the fraternity of St. Peter is, is, is actually probably their, their first great prize. All the time, the modernists are working with the Lutherans, signing documents of accord with the Lutherans in their faith of salvation, justification, common worship, and all the rest. Why wouldn't the Fraternity of St. Peter say, well, gee, I mean, you can be so friendly with the Lutherans and, and, work, and, and worship with them and even believe what they believe. Why can't, why can't we come along and, and join you in this great journey of ecumenism? And you just recognize us, give us the same status as you would give the Lutherans, even, you know. That we're a legitimate religion, right? We have a legitimate place, right? You want to reunite with them, like Francis hugging the female archbishop, right, in, uh, in Sweden. That was Sweden? I think it was Sweden. Uh, and saying, at the same time, he's telling people, we're not going to accept women priests, and telling her, we want to be sharing communion with you, you know, <laughs> this, this woman, right? Archbishop. So anyway, um, I mean, what, what's the Society of St. Peter, Fraternity of St. Peter, saying, we want you to be as nice to us as you are to the Lutherans? And uh, we would be really happy, you know, if you would even say that we, we are one with you, you know. You are one in faith with Luther, and we are one in faith with you, because that's what you say in, in their liturgy, you know. That's what you say in the traditional Mass. That's what the Fraternity of St. Peter is saying when they get up. When their priests get up to their altars, they're saying they are one in faith with Francis, and Francis is one in faith with Archbishop Betsy, you know, <laughs> Betty Lou over here. So, um... <laughs> It doesn't, it, 
this is ecumenism run amok. Well, ecumenism is amok anyway, so you can say it run amok. This would certainly be traditional Catholicism run amok. It's not traditional Catholicism at all. She's right to have left the fraternity of St. Peter altogether.